Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about project sizes. So let's get into it. So the question in question today is basically, Frederick, do you think it's better to try out make to try out to make quite a few small projects or should you invest your time in building larger projects for learning purposes? And I think this is a pretty good question. The thing is that it's a little bit of both, I would say. Um, mostly because the thing, like, let's just think about this. So when you start out with a small project, one of the benefits that you get is that you start from scratch usually. You start out by building everything from the ground up. Now this is very useful because if you don't do this sort of thing, you may lose out on information and like experience when it comes to actually just setting things up. And I know for a fact that there are quite a lot of developers. I actually used to have an old teacher of mine who really didn't, he wasn't really good at this. I mean, he had been working for years and years and years with Java, I think. Yeah, it was Java. And he had not, he hadn't really practiced setting things up. So when he was asked to do it, he was very unsure about like, how do you like just set something up from scratch? Because he's, he was so accustomed and so I call, like, he was accustomed to just coming into a new company. I mean, and let's be honest here, that is usually the norm. Like it's not very often that you're gonna come to a greenfield project in the real business world, if you will. Usually there is an existing project, but sometimes you actually do start from scratch. But I think that this is, it's very useful to do this sort of thing. It, when you're learning like a, a new concept or something like that, when you just want to try something new out, this is absolutely the way to go. But I will also argue that it should not be the focus as much. Uh, as I said, it, if, if you're learning something fresh, if you've never done something before or something like that, this is perfect. But when it comes to actually learning how to do things in a professional manner and actually when it comes to learning the sort of things that is going to be truly valuable for you, I believe that it's much more efficient to, to have a bigger project or to learn from larger projects or attempt to do something bigger. Because the thing about larger projects is that it changes your perspective. It, it gives you a different understanding than when you're building something small. And the reason is very simple because as the product grows in size, decisions that you make will start to impact you. In other words, long-term decisions that you make is going to start to come back to you and you're start going to start to understand that, all right, there is a big difference between a large product and a small product. It's uh, how I, the way that to put it is basically, you can think of it as building a small shed or building many small sheds versus building one big skyscraper. I mean, there, it's still building, but you're building to very va like vastly different things. And the lifetime, life expectancy in the lifetime of a, of a skyscraper is that much longer that when you start reaching, I mean, the midsection of the skyscraper, you will see that you may, have made, may or may have not made mistakes at the start of things. And now you're in this predicament, and this is a good predicament to be in. Now you need to say, change something. And that's the thing that you never ever get. This, this, this is the biggest difference between big, like uh, junior or like inexperienced programmers or people who work at the very small, the low end of IT and the people who work at the larger scale. Because now you can't just change things. You need to develop a strategy for migration. You need to develop a, a good eye for these sorts of decisions because the thing is when it's small, when the product is, very tiny. It's so it's so rare that you ever make a mistake that impacts you long term. It's so easy to add in tooling. It's so easy to do all these things, right? But when you get up to large scale, you can't just rewrite the whole system just because you feel like it. You can do that when the project is small. And that's the thing you're after. That's the thing that it makes you a true professional because when you get up to a size of project where the decisions that you make have a long spanning effect and you see the impact and you actually feel that impact, not just by yourself, but you have maybe many people working with you and stuff like that. Like 
that's when you really start to connect the dots and you start to realize why these veteran programmers are so emphatic about good practices, coding quality, testing, and all of that stuff, because it's at that size, it actually matters. It doesn't, it almost never matters at a small scale, because I've said this before, it's almost impossible for you to get yourself in a position where a small product causes you problems, because you can all, almost always rewrite it. I mean, if you can do a full rewrite of something in like a few hours or a day or something, that's not, that's not a big deal. It's so easy to correct a mistake. But when the product is so big that a migration would probably take maybe weeks to perform if it was even possible and you're never going to get the capacity to actually do it, it's very hard for you to do, like to make certain decisions and you will start to respect those decisions in a different way. And the beautiful part about it is that it gives you a perspective not only on how to build a skyscraper, but also how to build, build a shed. You start to st you really start to notice the differences between when a certain line of thinking is better than another line of thinking. So what I want you to take away from this is that I will argue that the best thing for you is to make small projects absolutely if you're learning something from scratch but don't make that the, ex the exclusive thing because what your fo focus should be if you're you're interested in becoming a full-fledged professional and that's why i say that you know working as a professional working in the real workforce can you can never replace that by self by learning by yourself you will never ever get to be as good as you can be by just working as an independent software developer it's never going to happen that's why it's so important for you to seek out larger projects and actually work on larger projects because the perspective that you get is going to be very different than the learnings that you're going to gain from having to make decisions that you just can't undo at the drop of a hat is very important because it makes you understand why it's so important to adhere to certain practices and why certain decisions are very, very important and why some decisions are not so important. Have a great day.